My name is Teresa Smith. I'm from Anaheim, California. And I'm here to speak about law enforcement abuse. My son Caesar was killed um, by Anaheim PD December 11, 2009. Um, I brought some other mothers with me who their sons were just killed recently, two months ago, by Anaheim PD. One was shot on Saturday, the, the other boy was shot on Sunday. Um, the one shot on Sunday was unarmed. Um, I still don't know if my son was armed or not. They said he was. I don't know that he was. I just know that five cops shot him at least 15 times. Shot him twice through the head, once through the heart. The other two boys that were just recently killed, uh, one was shot um, first in the buttocks and then they went up to him and executed him in the head. Uh, they did the same thing to Joel. Uh, this, these aren't the only three that has been going on. There's been at least since my son was killed uh, in December of 2009, there has been at least 12 killings by Anaheim PD. The officer that killed my son is also the officer that killed um, the last shooting, which was Joel Acevedo. He's still on duty. They've never been taken off duty. So I have been protesting for almost three years fighting the system. It's not an easy thing to go against law enforcement because they are protected by everything. Um, they do a brief investigation. Internal Affairs does a brief internal investigation. They send it to the district attorney, which he always justifies the killing. Um, they tried to get me to say that my son uh, was a suicide by cop. Of course, that was not true. He was shot from the back, from behind. He wasn't even out of his car. so. Uh, th th there's just a lot more to, this, to these stories. This is what we've been trying to get out there. Um, I wrote to Congress, I wrote to the House of Representatives, I've written to Senators, I've, I wrote to Justice Department, to the FBI, I've written to everybody that I could possibly think of. Uh, we never got any answers from the police, of course. Um, I didn't even find out who shot my son until a year and a half later by a journalist that it was public knowledge. I was never notified of that, neither was my attorney. Um, we have filed a civil lawsuit um, for his sons. Uh, we've been fighting this, like I said, almost three years. I still don't have any answers. I still don't have any accountability, and that is another thing that I'm fighting is, is the accountability, because nobody has ever been, that I know of through the United States, no policeman really has had any accountability for killings. I belong to several groups online. Um, and I'm talking across the United States, and all these families are fighting the same fight I am, and it's always they reached in their waistband for Hispanics, uh, or for blacks, uh, or they've tried to hit them with their car, you know, so that's another reason that they can shoot them. Um, it's just nationwide, it's out of control, and police are not being held accountable. I had a phone call from a lady in Florida who she lives in a very small town. She said they killed her son. They wouldn't let her other son go to him. They let him die. And this is what keeps happening. So I'm just trying to put that awareness out there that police need to be held accountable like we are. And they're not. They're not. They, are, they honestly think they're above the law. My three minutes up.